Hello there, my great, great followers. How are you today? Thank God that we are here today. Happy New Year to all of you. Now, I want to look at more examples under the trigonometry ratio. Now, this is uh, a trigonometry identity leading to quadratic equation. That's how I can put it. Are you getting me? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Okay. Now, look at this question. 1 plus sine theta minus 2 cos square theta is equal to 1. This, do you have any recall on any of the identities I have taught? Do you have any recall at all? Remember that I taught you this. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Yes, I have taught you this. Is that not? Now, but I'm here looking at this and this, now they're almost the same thing. So you can find identity for what? Cos square 1. And cos square theta. So you cannot say cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So you create an identity for this. So you replace this with this on this expression. So you cannot have 1 plus sine theta minus 2 into bracket 1 minus sine square theta is equal to 0. Yeah, that is what we have. Is equals to zero. So this can be transferred to that side. We can have one plus sine theta is equals to two into bracket one minus sine square theta. So one plus sine theta is equals to two minus two sine square theta. Now here now we can say okay, let's collect the like terms. Collect the like terms. Collect the like terms. So we can have one plus sine theta. No, sorry. Two sine square theta plus sine theta. Yes, this one is written this one. Then plus one. Then minus two is equal to zero. So this is what we have. So we cannot have two sine square theta plus sine theta minus one is equal to zero. So now, if we put sine theta to the letter, because we are looking for the value of theta, a number that is greater than zero but less than 360 degrees, that's what we're looking at. So we can also, okay, now, anywhere we see sine theta, we put one. So 2y squared plus y minus 1 is equal to zero. Then we factor out. So we are looking for, here now, we are looking for two numbers being added together that will give us what? Plus y. So here now we need plus uh, plus two y and minus one. So we cannot have two y square plus two y minus y minus one is equal to zero. That's what we have. Then you factorize. So we now have two y into bracket y plus one. That is this. Then minus minus do minus minus one into bracket y plus one. So that's what we have. Because minus one plus y will give you minus one. The minus times plus will give you minus one. So either two y minus one is equal to zero and y plus one is equal to zero. So two y is equal to one and y is equal to minus one. Then y is equal to what? One over two and minus one. So half and minus one. But remember, you have already created an identity here. You have already created an identity for letter y. So wherever you see letter y, you put sine theta. So now say sine theta is equal to half and minus one. So we cannot have theta is equal to half sine 0.5 or one over two and half sine minus one. Now, if you recall this chart, On this chart, it's telling you that all the three sine, cosine, and tangent of an angle are positive. Here, it's only sine that is positive. Here, it's only tan that is positive. Here, it's only cos that is positive. So by writing values for this now, so the theta now will now be, the first one, which is sine 0.5, is 30 degree, followed by, now if you move to the second quadrant, sine is what? Positive. And if you move now, 30 away from 180, what do you have? This is 180 degree. 
already you have a 30 degree. So the remaining will be what? Here is 30 degree. So everything will be what? 150 degree. So we have 150 degree. Then we also have minus one. So I told you that on the third quadrant, tan is what? Positive. So here now, we have negative answer. So therefore, the third answer is what? 272 degree. So if you have any question pertaining to this, anything, especially on trigonometry, you can ask or drop it on the comment section. So it's like, come, come your way again and remain, remain scientifically inclined.